How's that? Means peace. Kings and queens, goddesses and gods, brothers and sisters all across the world. I am going to make today a spaghetti squash with um, an array of, sa of sauteed vegetables on top. Uh, mixed in all nice and delicious like. So we're going to start off with our spaghetti squash. I'm going to saute some mushroom and zucchini. I have some fresh basil here that I'm going to add to it to make it oh so delicious. I love fresh basil in any pasta type dish. Um, of course, you know, everything that is real dies. So uh, with that, you know, use your basil, use your herbs, use your natural herbs up. Yeah, because they start to go bad. So when you have you don't want to waste that. Um, also on inside of the uh, pasta is going to be some spinach. Um, some tomato. I'm going to make it like a tomato sauce pasta, but I'm going to use fresh tomatoes. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. Got some peppers here, some yellow, red, orange peppers are going to go in there. Oh, it's going to be so delicious. And some uh, garlic and some onion and, you know, it's just going to be amazingly great. Uh, so first we're going to start off with our spaghetti squash that I've already sliced open. Once you squat, you cut it open. It's got all these seeds and stuff on the inside of it. Okay. So you, what you're going to do is you can either use a fork or a spoon. I like to use a tablespoon and just, you're going to go through and get all those seeds out and just scrape, scrape those seeds out. Scrape those seeds out like that. See that they come out pretty well it's strings in there as well and with those loose strings you want to grab those two as you're taking out the seeds because this is not a part of your spaghetti squash as far as the pasta part that you eat this part comes out so if you see these strings in there along with the uh, seeds it all comes out so take your spoon and just go through it and dig it out Okay, usually I have a bowl or something to put this stuff in, so I grab a bowl out. This be my waste bowl here. I'm going to take all those seeds and all the strings that are loose out of my spaghetti squash. Point is to get it extremely cleaned out and so it can get ready to accept your olive oil and your Himalayan sea salt and your pepper. So we're going to do that on both sides. This is going to make a relatively large dish. Um, it um, probably feed at least four. You could probably feed four off of this. I'm sure. So I'll have some leftovers. Normally I have a, my, my best bud, one of my best buddies eating with me, but she's not available for this meal. So you just want to scrape all that inside out. All those strings and seeds out. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day wonderful weekend um i know some kids are out now for particular days um that um people celebrate i want to make sure i get all those strings out because those strings have nothing to do with what we're about to embark upon here so so when you're done cleaning them out they look nice and clean like that see that So here's the insides, all your seeds and strings. Let me get my olive oil. So you're going to take some uh, olive oil and you're going to drizzle your whole spaghetti squash with that olive oil. I just go ahead and run my hands through it and and get that olive oil in every portion of this 
spaghetti squash. Of course, it's going to settle inside the inside, and that's fine. My hands. I rinse my hands quite a bit throughout the time that I cook. I like my hands to be nice and clean. So, I'm going to take some Himalayan sea salt. Crush that up on there. So I'm going to season it nicely. I'm going to take my fresh ground pepper and season that up like that. I'll do a little onion powder now. A little onion powder in there. Uh -huh. And some garlic. I don't have any fresh garlic normally um, in my stir fry when I uh, stir fry my vegetables, I, I'll put in like a fresh garlic and chop it up. But I didn't get to get any the other day at the store. So it's all good. We have our um, spaghetti squash seasoned with the Himalayan sea salt and pepper and olive oil. I'll probably drizzle a little more olive oil in there for kicks and giggles. I mean, you really cannot... I don't want to say you can't over season the spaghetti squash because I'm sure you can over season anything, but seasonings are kind of required with it because it really doesn't have any flavor. It takes on whatever flavors you add to it and you really have to make sure that you're putting those flavors to, to work, okay? By adding enough seasoning and enough, you know, flavor in order to, to give it a great taste. All right, so I'm going to take these two and I'm going to put them in a pan. Just going to use a regular pan. Um, just your regular pizza pan to work. Popping in on you. All right, so I'm going to drop those down on there. And these are going to go into the oven for about 45 minutes. So. Once they're done, I'll pull them away and I'll let you see what that looks like. I have a previous video. And you're gonna bake it at um, 375 for 45 minutes. I have a previous video that has me uh, preparing a spaghetti squash, um, actually showing you what it looks like after I've cooked it, so. Next, we're going to work on some mushroom. I'm going to slice up my mushroom. I like my mushroom sliced thicker uh, because I was once a uh, pretty heavy meat eater with every meal there was meat. So I kind of like the, the mushroom to be a little thick because in certain cases, it gives me the illusion that I'm eating something that has some thicker sus sustenance to it. So when I say thicker, instead of making a thin slice, I make them about that thick. So let's see this mushroom, this mushroom here, see that size? I'll cut it into fours. One, two, three. Oh, drop that piece. Well, it's really into fours, but nice and thick pieces. So it's a meteor taste. And it's filling, and I love, I love mushrooms, so. I mean, I know it's probably not the best thing. I don't know. You know, there's a lot of bad things out here for us to eat. I feel like mushroom, though, is something that I'll, until I hear something different, I'm, I'm gonna eat mushroom. I'm gonna go ahead and slice up my fresh basil. So I'm slicing it up pretty thin. You can tear it up, you can slice it up. Um, some, sometimes I just tear it into whatever I'm cooking. Now all these vegetables have been pre-washed. So they're ready to go. I'm gonna rinse this one off because it's got a little oil on it. So then slip through my fingers while I cook it. I mean, while I cut it. So I'm gonna slice up my zucchini. And once again, I like a heartier cut. So that's probably about half inch thick on my zucchini. About half inch thick. And that's just because I like to uh, 
actually taste my vegetables. I don't I don't need them to be cut up so small that that they that I don't taste them. So I like a nice cut on my vegetables so I can cook them properly so that they don't lose nutrients and I can enjoy them uh, in that in the meal that I'm making. Sometimes the stuff's so cut up it all tastes like the same the same uh, vegetable and you want your vegetables to have a distinct uh, taste. So I'm slicing these up, watching my fingers. I work with these. So. And some of them I made a little thicker, like between those two. That's fine. It's whatever makes you happy. And we're going to work on the peppers. Peppers, you slice out the tip, throw it in my bowl, and then I get my seeds out. Cut the inside of it out. So when I rinse the inside out, all my little seeds come out from the top. And I'm ready to slice these up. Um, once again, I don't slice, I don't like to slice my peppers or anything too small. Green peppers, I have a tendency to slice smaller because they're not, to me, they're not as sweet as like your yellow peppers and stuff. So I like my, um, my peppers to have a, uh, a bigger cut on them as well. So I'm going to get those seeds out. Then everything else is just rinse. You get those little, they call them ribs. So, get the rib out of the pepper. So, I have a red one. And the red ones, they look like hot peppers, but they're not. They're just smaller um, red peppers. Got the spaghetti squash in there cooking for 45 minutes. So right now I'll just prep all my veggies and uh, just let them marinate a little while and hang out. Another red pepper, cutting that tip off. Seeds are right there. Dig going in there. Get on out. Get on out. So there we go. So everybody's cut nicely. Once again, that half inch, like about a half inch cut on mine. You know, the fingertip is one inch from here to the tip. That's one inch. So half of inch would be half of your fingertip. Okay. A couple more peppers to cut. Well, I hope everyone is doing what they're supposed to do as far as eating healthier, uh, incorporating more fruits and vegetables in your life. It is totally up to you how you want to live this bad boy out. Um, you know, I, I prefer to eat as healthy as I can. And, um, you know, occasionally I go, I go in, you know, I get a little something that um, maybe not so good for me, but I just have a desire for it. And I eat it. I mean, I live this life only once, but um, actually this particular life. So uh, I just think that the healthier you live, the longer your possibilities of life are. I mean, all types of accidents and things happen to to us and we see we see it happen. But um, I would think the best thing that to do is to do your best to live a healthier life and uh, incorporate fruits and vegetables in there and yoga, of course, you know, we gotta do yoga. We got a yoga, we got a yoga. All right, so I got everything sliced up except for my tomato. The tomato are gonna be just sliced in half. See my little babies, they're growing. This is week number three and a half, three and a half weeks. And they're looking like about two inches long right now. 
they're so they're just so amazing i love them i love them so i'm gonna slice up about maybe 20 of these little cherry tomatoes in half and might be more than that i don't know it's this right here it's about 10. so 10 more probably be enough maybe i don't know it's funny i grabbed exactly 10 at both times ah -ah. so one handful of cherry tomatoes is 10 per my hand right <laughs> all right so we're slicing these puppies in half. Slice -ity slice. Yeah, looks good. Looks good. I'm loving it. Oh my. Yes. There we go. So we got 20 of those done. I'd say about 20. I mean, you don't have to do exactly the same number that I do. I might even add a couple more because I want it to be a tomato type sauce. So I'm going to cook these down first with the uh, with the peppers. All right. A couple more mushrooms. See, these mushrooms are absolutely huge so they're about the size of my at least this one is almost the size of my palm of my hand dang yeah so i'm gonna cut this one probably into sixes yeah it's about six pieces there so that big mushroom got cut so that many pieces okay all right so we got mushroom we have Tomato, peppers, red, yellow, orange peppers, uh, zucchini, fresh basil, olive oil, Himalayan sea salt, pepper, fresh ground pepper, some onion powder. Um, yeah, this is about to be a great meal. I will uh, come back and let you guys see what we put together. <laughs> 